Bismillah. In ayah number 16, Allah says, فَعَالُ لِمَا يُرِيد Doer of what He wills. Describing Himself, Allah God Almighty teaches us that there is nothing in the heavens and the earth that escapes His knowledge or is beyond the reach of God's decree and God's power. And in fact, as we go through life, there is much that we go through where we perceive many of the benefits that we enjoy in life from following God's commandments and avoiding Allah's prohibitions. You know, especially as we age and gain wisdom, we see so many blessings that Allah commands us to observe chastity and await a committed relationship, that He commands us to avoid alcohol and to be mindful of, of maintaining our mental faculties and so many other commandments that bring benefit to us and benefit to society. But sometimes the decree of Allah comes with what escapes a human being's understanding and where words and tongues themselves cannot encompass the vastness of God's mercy. These can be moments like when Allah calls back a soul from our loved ones and wills that a beloved mother or father or son or daughter returns to him. Or it can be moments of great oppression or difficulty or hardship where a lot of people are suffering. Or it can be in our personal lives, in our aspirations to college and living places and work where a door is closed that we wish was open. In fact, often, in life, as time traverses, we see that even in the difficulties of life, in the adversity, there is growth to be had and there is goodness in what Allah has decreed for us. But that wisdom is with Him and we do not encompass its fullness. Allah says, Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. And Allah knows and you do not know. And especially in life's difficult moments, in those tests where in the middle of it, it feels like maybe it will never end or in the pain that we see when societies and vulnerable people are put in the line of fire of people that do not fear the boundaries of God and do not restrain their hands from oppression. In the midst of it, no human being knows the wisdom of where this is leading. But the Qur'an teaches us and inspires us through stories past so that we can have inspiration and hope that also through this obstacle, through this hardship, through this moment, that Allah has willed for us to witness and hopefully to be a positive force in that there is growth and there is development and there is opportunity that would not be had without it. In the Holy Quran at the end of Surah Yusuf, he says, Inna Rabbi latifun lima yasha, innahu huwa al-alim al-hakim. Indeed, my Lord achieves his aim in subtle ways, for my Lord is all-knowing, most wise. Throughout a whole lifetime, as if every time Prophet Yusuf السلام, peace be upon him, would face a moment of ease, something difficult would be right around the corner. And when he would have moments of great difficulty, like when he was in the jail or falsely accused or taken from his family, sometimes this would open up incredible opportunities for him not only to grow as a person, but indeed to extend opportunity to others. Allah revealed that verse and that story as inspiration for the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, who in the moment that the door of a ta'if was closed, could not have known that there was a greater door and a better door for him in Al-Madina coming. When the people rejected him, he did not know that around the corner was Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj, the night ascension, where he would see his status with higher company in the heavens. And similarly, dear brothers and sisters, when we look back on our lives, we see things that we really wanted, moments that we wish we could take back, obstacles that seemed they would never pass, but in the rearview mirror we see that Allah gave us growth, opportunity, development, that would not have been achieved without it. In the context and the story of this surah in particular, it is a difficult and a stirring story where we've seen that the people learn through the boy's death what they would not learn in his life. That the silence of the system around them propped up this dictator for so long that people suffered immensely until Allah willed his end as he wills the end of dictators yesterday and will will them tomorrow. And dear Muslims, we learn also in the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَذَرْنِي وَمَن يُكَذِّبُ بِهَذَا الْحَدِيثِ سَنَسْتَدِرِجُهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ إِنَّ كَيْدِي مَتِينَ Allah told the Prophet, leave me and the obstinate rejectors of this message, such as these unrepentant tyrants. We shall certainly encircle them in ways they cannot imagine. And I lie for them in wait 
for my plan shall surely be achieved. Dear Muslims, we understand, just as we learn from Pharaoh and we learn from this tyrant king, that the unrepentant wrongdoers, that if Allah willed good for them, he would have removed their hands and their wrongdoing so that they would not dig their account deeper, so that they would not find a heavier end. But indeed, every moment of hardship in this life comes to an end. Every problem, even chronic problems of this life, end. And ultimately, the real problem is the one that meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment with a debt that is not fulfilled. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to will the very best for us and for all people. We ask Allah to activate from amongst us and among people of conscious worldwide, those who will stand up and champion, especially the rights of the downtrodden, the vulnerable and oppressed. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to activate, especially among the younger generation, the type of leadership and morally centered community servants that will imagine opportunity, justice and freedom for all peoples. Allahumma ameen. And at this hour, this hour that could be an hour of acceptance, and even amidst the joyous season of Ramadan, we are mindful that there are people that face this Ramadan in hardship. And so we make a special dua and supplication for them. May Allah, who placed them in this situation for profound wisdoms, also see them out of it with growth, development, opportunity, and nearness to Him that would not have been had without that obstacle. Allahumma ameen. May Allah accept. Wassalamu alaikum.